Welcome to this SQL tutorial with me, James from Adstar Software. And after covering running totals in Power BI last week, I wanted to cover this in SQL, more specifically SQL Server. Um, so we're going to look at three different types of running totals. The standard cumulative, where it just increases in quantity row by row within our query result by successive additions. So we'll look at this by the total of age and company employees. Then we want to look at average running total. So when we look at this in a list, how that average running total impacts the age distribution across the company. And then we'll look at partitions or to think of it more simply, sections of our data and how we can compute subsets of these. So we'll be looking at age totals by department within that partition or subset. Um, but this will make more sense as we move along in this live demonstration. So what I've done initially is just select it all from users. You can see in our query result, we just have the user ID, first name, last name, age and department. So this is just sort of users within a company or employees, you could think of it as well. So in order to calculate the first running total, the total running age, we'd set this up as normal. So I'm just going to concatenate the first name and last name and alias it as full name and show the relevant columns. So these would be department, and we'd also want to see the age. And then now we need to create the running total. Now you can think of what we're about to do here as a window function where we calculate an aggregate value based on groups of rows and return multiple rows for each group potentially. And we need to use the over clause with window functions. So what we're doing here, we're using the aggregate sum and the age and we use over clause and then we can order this by the user ID because we're only actually looking at the age column here for the running total. And you can see what happens. We begin at the far right to get a running total that continuously sums and adds the values of those age columns. So you can see it goes from 52 to 87 with the 35 there. As we move down the total running age, what this is doing is it's taking the current value in the, in the row, this could be 87, and it's adding on the next value directly diagonal below on the left. So that would be 87 plus 30 is 117, 117 plus 41 is 158, and so on. And we achieve this by using the over clause and just choosing one argument. And in our case, we're using order by, and this will iterate through and give us the values that we require. Now we can actually copy and paste this to also show the average running age. So it's a similar thing, we're just copy and pasting but using the average aggregate function and different alias average running age for a column. And now what you see happens is just again, we're, we're just ordering it by the user ID in that fashion. So it's moving down in the same order as the total running age. But you can see as we move through the ages, Dependent on how high or low the age is, this adjusts the average in a downward fashion. So obviously 52, but we have an, an age of 35, which brings the average down and 30 would bring the average down even more. So that's a great way to display the sort of distribution as we're going through that running total. And lastly, we can actually just bring in partition by and the, the column or field that we want to partition this by, in our case, department, and add this to both of the lines where we, we were previously calculating our running totals. So we'll just say partition by department, and as you can see, what happens here is we haven't, haven't ordered it in any other way other than by user ID as it was before, but by default, we'll go in alphabetical order, and you can see that we now get the running age and the total running age by department. So HR only goes up to 55 because there's only two values. And IT will just move again with two values because there's only two people in the IT department. But it's a really good way to segregate things. Now, running totals are great because we can use this in certain scenarios like in accounting functions, they're really powerful. Um, I hope you took a lot away from this. Um, quite a simple use case, but really powerful and window functions are often undercovered. They're very, very valuable. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.